Hello, I'm Andrew Smith, uh, General Manager at Treescape Certified Arborist in Peterborough. We've put together a short video clip to give you a little bit of information about the emerald ash borer and what kind of an impact it might have on your ash trees. And joining me today for this segment is Paul Hambage. He's a Senior Consulting Arborist at Treescape. Now, Paul, can you just uh, help us understand a little bit about what the emerald ash borer is, uh, what it attacks, and where it came from? The emerald ash borer is a beetle, so it's an insect pest. It came um, from Asia into um, the States and then was found in Windsor in 2002 and has been spreading eastward since. Okay. Now, does it attack specifically ash trees or are other species of trees uh, in jeopardy of this uh, insect as well? No, you, it's specifically ash trees as the name implies, so it won't include species such as mountain ash, which is not a true ash. Okay. Now, my understanding is that, you know, obviously it originated in Windsor, as you mentioned, but it has spread uh, eastwardly along that 401 corridor. It's in the GTA right now, the, the Greater Toronto Area. Um, it's been found in the Frontenac County, Great Bruce County, it's been prevalent in the Ottawa area for quite some time. How concerned should Peterborough residents be about the emerald ash borer affecting their ash trees? I think they should be very concerned because, um, as you say, it's uh, with a gap in the middle in Peterborough. It will definitely come here and it's just a question of time before we find it. I think uh, homeowners should be concerned and should consider some treatments um, earlier rather than later. Now, how would a homeowner even recognize if their tree was either in jeopardy or was already infected by the emerald ash borer? There are a couple of signs and symptoms that we need to look out for. One of them is a thinning of the crown of the tree, the foliage, uh, which tends to go slightly yellower as well. Characteristically, there will be sprouts or epicormic shoots, as we call them, on the branches and trunk of the tree. When the adult beetle emerges from the tree, it does leave a D-shaped exit hole as well. So Paul, obviously we should be treating our trees if we know the emerald ash borer is present, but should we be you know, concerned or, or even trying to do something even if uh, our, our tree isn't showing any signs? Yes, certainly, Andrew. It's, the guidelines are that if we're within uh, 25 to 50 kilometres from a known outbreak, that we should consider some treatment so that even if we don't um, see any signs and symptoms on the tree, it's well worth um, considering a preventative treatment um, of a chemical injection. Okay, so what's involved with, uh, with this chemical injection? Well, it's a very safe chemical. It's actually the um, oil extract from the nut of a neem tree, the seed of a neem tree. It's what they call a biopesticide, so it's very safe indeed. Um, and we um, preload that into canisters, drill small holes in the tree, and then we plug in injectors and the tree draws up the um, biopesticide um, as it transpires. Now is there a particular time of year that, that we would be doing these treatments or is it something that can be done any time throughout the year? Tr treatments are timed to coincide with the emergence of the adult beetle. Um, that's, a, that's anywhere from May the 15th um, right through, um, continuing through until the end of August. Uh, in the Peterborough area we'd probably be treating around about the first or second week in June. And now how effective are these treatments and how often do we have to treat our trees? Well, the treatments are considered to be, with this specific um, biopesticide, they're considered to be 95% effective. Uh, what makes the huge difference is as if that we get to the tree early before it shows any of those um, signs and symptoms we were talking about. And is this something that we have to do just one time and the tree is safe, or is it uh, an ongoing treatment that we have to be concerned about? Unfortunately, because the tree is injected and, and the chemical is taken up uh, systemically throughout the plant, the plant naturally purges itself of the chemical, so we do need to do retreatments every uh, on the third year or every two years. Well, I hope that this uh, little information segment has been useful for you in helping to understand what the emerald ash borer is and, and what you can do to, to protect your own trees. If you have any further or specific questions that you would like addressed, feel free to drop us a line. You can email us at info at treescapecanada.ca or you can call us directly at 705-745-1803.